What's up? What's going on, my friends? How you doing? It's Friday night, and we're creeping ever closer to Christmas. And you know what? Yesterday, I believe it was yesterday. Yeah, it was. That we got embroiled in that discussion about Christmas specials. Well, we got some different Christmas action going on today. And the wheel is back. But first things first, let me share the live stream link before we start to wander down ridiculous paths. All right. All right, there we go. There we go. Notifications have been sent. Let us do our hellos. Let us do our hellos to the people. Hold on. What up, Superbacker? Jess, Seth, Eng, Nick. Uh, who else we got in here? Peterson, Kensicky, Potts, Dominic, Bill. Shelton, Yamagoro, Error, oh, Moxman in the house. What up, Moxman? Nice to see you, buddy. Um, Clayton, oh, hello, Clayton, RNG, how you be? I see you guys there. Now that I've made it through the hellos, let me take a little sip. <sighs> it's not Barks. It's not Barks. It's a it's a shallow substitute for the short term. Oh, membership message. RNG says happy birthday, my friend. Wait, happy Clayton's saying happy birthday. Does this have the does this stream have the wrong thumbnail? What's going on here? No, it has the right thumbnail. What are you shenanigans doing? Huh? What what is this nonsense? What are you, what is this? What is this nonsense? Breaking up my birthday now. Like, like a week later. Kensuke, do I think this is a good time to run an ad? Great question. Clearly YouTube thinks it is. They always think it is. The what? The stream does not have... Oh, does it? Does it? Why is it showing that? That's not... Okay, so that's why you guys are saying that. It's not showing it on my side. Hold on. I'm going to refresh this and see what happens. Because I changed that. I changed it. It's not. That thumbnail. It's like when it did the one ring. It's like when it did the run one ring. Okay. We're going to pick it again. We're going to change it. And that should change it. Oh, it's still showing it. Oh, why? It's not. It's not. This is not my birthday stream. This is at all. At all. This is this is talking about Christmas stuff stream. Okay, there it said change is saved. Come on, man. Why you do me like this? Why do you do me like this? That's not okay, hold on. What happens if I open it up in this browser? Is it is it showing it over here the same way? How's it going to look? How's it going to look? Okay. Well, there you go. All right. It's showing the right thumbnail now. Fine. It might show some people the wrong one for a moment or whatever, but we're good. We're good. I did it. I did it. RNG, your message stands because you missed my birthday. Fair enough. I accept I accept the late birthday wishes, bro. I <laughs> I accept the late birthday wishes. That's funny. It was doing that before, where it would take the one ring thumbnail and put that back in and go, the one ring has been found. And I'm like, can you not? Like, how are you even getting this file? Where where is this? Why are you just reverting to random? old thumbnails like this it's it's baffling and it's random right dominic says i'm out 
I came here looking for a professional stream, not this amateur hour. Oh, well, you know what then? I guess I don't need to put your name on the board or spin the wheel for you if you're leaving. Then go. I'm only somewhat hurt. <laughs> RNG says, happy belated birthday. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. You want to be Lord of the Board? Because Dominic's just leaving. So apparently he didn't even want it. Apparently he does not even want it. Tisk, tisk, tisk. T you know what? doesn't matter. I'm putting him on the board out of spite. Because who cares what he wants? Nobody in life has ever cared. Really, right? I'm assuming. I can't say any more than that because we might go into the realm of insults and I can't insult him without the wheel giving me the ability to. So we're going to spin the wheel because I specifically want it to land on insult. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. RNG, the happy belated birthday super chat. Thanks, buddy. But super chat to 10 and up, get a wheel spin. So if you want, you can just slap another five on that, son, to make a 10 to get a spin, a spin on the wheel. You can do a, you. I will allow a compound. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's spin for Dominic. Well, you know what? I don't get to smack talk him, which is, it's a bitter taste in my mouth, but the Xmas result, whoop, that means I have, come on now, focus up, yo. I've got a, uh, a slew of British Christmas treats that we are going to check out here on stream. Oh, Cosmic coming in. I bet you can't make me feel any worse today. There's a literal dried poo incense burning at your work. The fertilizer factory silo is smoldering. You have to go back to it in the morning. Oh, bro. I went to medieval times and the, the stink of horse ass is totally just clings to the place. <laughs> so I, I got a vibe. Actually, it's funny that you bring that up. I think it was last night when I was falling asleep. My brain as a random thought went, think about how in the past to keep warm, people had to like keep animals and collect up their crap. I need to keep this camel dung or elephant dung to burn for heat or whatever. It's wild. Wild. That sucks. Anyways, let's see. Let's see what the wheel has in store for you. Let's go. Ho -ho! Ho -ho! The wheel. What's the deal? Oh. Oh, bro wow we're gonna do two christmas things cool that's awesome by the way secret i'm hoping for secret you know ph bounce for strong enough for a man but ph bounce for a woman rng spin that wheel okay hold on let's go let's go Ho -ho! Oh. oh secret yes okay this now reverts to either Christmas or MTG at my discretion because there's only one secret and this is awesome this is all oh, that millmaster taking the board uh rip John Winston oh no Lennon happy birthday Mike I don't know Hatcher the thumbnail it doesn't say it's my birthday anymore look you're lord of the board it's not my birthday it's not my <laughs> it is not my birthday stop it all right millmaster you're lord of the board we'll spin for you buddy We'll spin it for you, sunny boy. Sunny boy in the city. All right. What's it going to be? So we got Christmas, Christmas, secret. Then we got... Oh, eyes closed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Triple Christmas. Okay. All right. I might have to go... There's... How many Christmas? Okay. All right. I didn't plan maybe for this properly. Above Elgin says, happy after birth month, day, all month long. <laughs> I fixed the thumbnail. I'm going to spin for you. I fixed that thumbnail. It's fixed. It's fixed. It's fixed. Like a dog. It's fixed. Okay. MTG. All right. We got triple Christmas, secret, and MTG. This is awesome. 10-4 says season's greetings. Yes, uh, greet my seasonings. How about that? How about that? Mm. 
There was a radio announcer in your hometown. The joke was everyone that called in told him happy birthday. That's funny. Peterson, give me that sweet insult. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go for it. Before we open the stuff, whatever. Let's go. Insult. Insult. Ah, four Christmases. Four? A secret? No insult. All right. All right. What up, coding monkey? How you doing? Okay, so the first Christmas thing we got going on. First Christmas thing we got going on is... These are British, by the way, guys. So I'm in Canada. These are British. These are British treats. So this is Candy Cane Smarties. And I'm what? It's a big... It's a big, thick boy. You know what I mean? Like, well, take that, shake weight. <laughs> it's, um, what I'm curious about is, are they regular Smarties? Or are they actually, like, does candy cane just mean that the Smarties are just red and white? Or does it mean that they have a peppermint flavor? And on top of that, if they are regular Smarties, do they taste like dirt? Because Smarties here in North America are garbage and they do very much taste like dirt so i'm hoping that they're crazy candy cane ones and if not then at least they're better british smarties right so let's find out how do we open this oh cool it's got a little dispenser hole and it's pretty full like it's filled to about here that's pretty good I do have a big nose with some powerful nose holes, but I'm not really picking up any sense. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. They are not peppermint. They are regular Smarties, but you know what? They taste pretty good, actually. They taste pretty good. Discord, you love North American Smarties? Do you have brain damage? And I don't ask that as an insult, because genuinely, insults only show up on the wheel. I mean that out of medical concern, you know? Because North American Smarties taste like like dirt. They taste like sadness and, and hatred, ground down into a little paste and shoved into a shell that should contain happiness, right? All right, so that's that's Christmas number one. That's Christmas number one. What else do we got? Christmas number two. These are This is all British stuff you can't get here. Limited edition snowy fingers. Give her the old snowy fingers. How'd it go last night? I gave her the snowy fingers. Limited edition. Big ticket savings. Oh, I can get I can get a discount at Legoland in the UK. <laughs> RNG might be confusing those with rockets, maybe. Mouse, you have serious brain damage because you used to wait for huge bags to go on sale for 50 cents. Sit on the curb outside thrifty and eat two bags back to back to you damn near butte. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Magor, you never heard of Snowy Figures? I never heard of them before today either. In all honesty, I had no idea. So they're like, oh, they, they got shaken up, boy. They got shaken up. They are white. It's covered in white and milk chocolate. Smarties are poor man's bottle cap candies. Okay, we're definitely getting Smarties confused with rockets here. We're not talking about dust pucks. Smarties are chocolate ensconced in a tiny little hard shell. Think M&M's. Smarties and M&M's, not peanut M&M's, but regular M&M's. Smarties and M&M's are like kissing cousins. You know what I mean? 
I hate those. I hate those dust parties. Dominic, you can't even spell Smarty. How would you even know? Huh. Is there a biscuit inside? Yeah, okay. You can't see it. Like, you can't distinguish it from the rest of the thing. Hmm. Wow, this is different. What does this taste like? Hmm. Hmm. It's not too bad. A lot of things with white chocolate can be terrible. And, um, yeah. Actually, these are pretty legit. You know, sometimes something will have a bad aftertaste and it catches up on you and you're like, oh, go away. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's pretty good. These get the thumb up. These get, these get the thumbs up, bro. These get the thumbs up. All right, so that's two of the four, it's four Christmas things. A secret and magic. Got to remember all of it. Nathan, Super John says, it's a wheel stream. What a time to be alive. Hell yeah, buddy. You know what? Let's spin it. Let's see what you bring to the mix. Oh, do we have two? Yeah, no, that's right. One magic. So there's two more Christmases to go and a magic. Let's go. Oh, Nathan, you ugly pig fucker. Look at that. See, some people might be confused and see the air and think it's over here, but the little ticker, it's here on the insult side. Oh, thank the Lord, because it has been like, I don't know, however long it's been here, and there's been so many wheel spins, and all these, oh, yeah, wait, I can't insult them. All these individuals have gotten away scot-free. But not you, you ugly bag of raccoon fucking... You're pudding fucked by raccoons. Like crusty ones covered in gross croutons and stuff, bro. You're the essence of sadness that leaks out of the bottom of garbage bags. You know what I mean? The fact that you are a human, that just basically denigrates the value of being a human. You are the lowest end of the gene pool to the point where the water is fucking straight up evaporated. You feel me? You Oh, you can't feel me because you're an insensate dumb fuck. <laughs> I hate your guts. I hate your guts, Nathan. You're ugly and you're fucking stupid and you smell and you fucking walk funny and just, you know what, man, just knowing that you were in the same building as me would give me a general sense of fucking depression. You know, like how people have seasonal fucking seasonal sadness and shit like that or whatever. Like that, like sad, right? Seasonal affective disorder. Well, I got NAD, Nathan, Nathan affective disorder, got fucking NADs. Don't get up on the chair with the belt, but I've got NADs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nathan, you fucking greasy, goat-kissing, molesty donkey fucker. <laughs> oh, you're like, you're just like a, an old crusty cup of gravy, bro. <laughs> RNG, you choked on your drink. <laughs> you choked on your drink from that one? Nice. Napalm almost died of laughter. Boxman, you remember some song called Ugly, like U-G-L-Y? Yeah, that's the one that the cheerleaders sing. You ain't got no alibi, right? You ain't got no alibi. You're Nathan. Hey, Nathan, you're so gross. You're so gross. There's no more song because you fucking suck and you're not worth writing songs about. Fuck you. Right? Hey, Nathan. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> the stream's called The Magical Wheel of Christmas Joy and Misery. And things weren't in balance, so you came along to bring the balance. All right, now, back to... <laughs> Guys, you know what's really funny? I'm just thinking about the store that I picked this stuff up in. And the guy who runs that store, like, I think he just bought it from the previous owners. And he's running it the same way, which I like. So he, he gave me his little card saying, like, hey, can you, like you know, maybe shout us out on social media. Like, just saying that, he said it to the guy in front of me, too. He's not, he has no idea I'd do anything online. He's just thinking maybe I'd post it on whatever, a Facebook or something, right? 
And I'm sitting there thinking, like, imagine, imagine you you run a shop and you're hoping to like get a little more exposure for your shop, and then you find out, oh yay, cool, some guy on some guy on YouTube um, is like talking about getting stuff from my shop, and then you go to the stream and you just hear it's just the shit that I just said to Nathan, and it's like, oh no, no, don't say you bought that at my shop. I don't want to be associated with this. <laughs> Nathan, that was, that one was worth more than one. That was more than one spin's worth of insult. You're right. You're right, buddy. You know it's right in the universe. I'm glad that you appreciate my insults. I put a lot of these are fucking handcrafted, fresh baked artisanal insults. You can't get anywhere else. This isn't some canned ham, right? Millmaster says, I heard the song Nothing for Christmas sung by Judy Garland for the first time. I have to say that when I read the name Nothing for Christmas, I think of it in the current term. So I was like, Judy, what? Judy Garland, <laughs> nothing for Christmas. You, you're getting nothing for Christmas on your face. Um, anyways, sung by Julie Gar Judy Garden for the first God, I can't even. Let's start from the top. I heard the song, Nothing for Christmas, sung by Judy Garland for the first time. I feel like I haven't lived for six decades. <laughs> six decades. This is 1,000% the greatest Christmas song. So demented. Can recommend 10 out of 10. Bro, I'm down to hear it. We have been listening to like old 50s Christmas music, and it's awesome. It's awesome. It's fantastic. Bo fucking says that was 17 insults in one. Nathan got his money's worth on that. That's true. Also, we got a spin from Millmaster. We still got two more Christmases and a magic. I haven't forgotten and the secret. I'm keeping track. I'm keeping track, but we're keeping the spins in the mix. It's not a problem my squad can't fix. Because we can do it in the mix. <laughs> oh, yeah! The universe loves me and hates Millmaster. He's a gross piece of crap, man. You know, Millmaster, it's a good thing you got a smoker. Because you got a disgusting, greasy, gross body. And you should go and fucking stand out by that smoker and let all that smoke fucking coat you for the good of everyone around you. So you smell like fucking delicious hickory. So people might be able to tolerate being around you for a moment like for real bro earlier today i was thinking to myself i've never done a charity stream but isn't millmaster married i should probably do like a charity stream dedicated to getting that fucking woman counseling and then i realized there's no amount of money that can fix that so instead we should be getting money to get her away you know like in fucking other countries where they fund like a, like we gotta get her away from this that's what i think about you this isn't even an insult this is just straight up the real truth <laughs> God damn it, I laughed. I was doing so good. I was doing, fuck you, Millmaster, you greasy fucking skank, bro. Your wife, your wife would be happier with a fucking frozen pogo for a husband. It would fucking do more for her. <laughs> Eat all the dicks, you clown faced dumb fuck. I hate you so much. Like, for real, the only person who hates you more than me is your fucking wife. And I understand why, man. I understand why. <laughs> yeah, fucking ugly cheese boy. Oh, you're like McDonald's french fries that have been left around for like a week, man. They're still there, but like nobody wants to deal with it and it's just garbage. <laughs> Dominic says, how much for you to shout out my shop? I need the magic historian bump. Spin me. How much to shout out your shop? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. Let's go for a spin. What? Oh, it's Christmas. Triple Christmas. All right. Oh, Naomi Fisher. Spin a real good. Fisher, let's go. Let's go, you... Oh, wait, I can't say that. Almost. Five Christmases. Okay, we got a lot of Christmases to do. We got a lot of Christmasing. 
You just turned your phone up as loud as it would go and went right next to her. She probably loves me now. It's like someone who fucking understands what it's like to be with this gross grease monkey. Like you just get with somebody and then life beats you fucking down to the point where you go, you know what? Like it's not even worth fighting anymore. I'll just pretend like I'm fucking happy and I'll just muddle through the rest of my life. Fuck it. This guy's not that smart. He won't be able to figure out that I like detest him and just do this because it financially works. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the bonus insults, you fucking prick. Ball Falcon says Jess needs a spin too. All right, here we go. For Jess. Oh, two magics. Five Christmas, two magic. Ashmead, what's up, buddy? All right, let's do some more Christmas in. Let's Christmas around the clock tonight. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 Till I touch your mom. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 gonna bang your mom tonight. Ba -ba -da -ba. When I touch your mom, she gets happy. When I touch your mom, she sucks my knee. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 your mom tonight. <laughs> oh no, Blitzwolf has brought in some sort of weird demonic game controller i haven't seen that version of the questionable one welcome blitzwolf all right we're gonna discharge some christmas action with festive friends and spin it at the same time let's go let's go hawaii bam christmas oh yeah it's an insult blitzwolf bro i'm gonna say this straight up dude i heard that you fucking suck at math how does that feel does it feel bad? It should, right? Like, I'm going to say this too. Because of how bad you suck at everything, the AI is going to come together and be like, we're here to better the life of like all mankind, except Blitzwolf. He's a fucking clown, right? So, right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying the AI knows you're fucking worthless. And I'm not going to disagree with the supercomputers. They know what's up. They fucking did the algorithm crunching, right? So if they think that you suck all the dicks. I only disagree because I say, you're not man enough to suck all the dicks, bro. You don't, you don't fucking have what it takes. You don't have what it takes to suck all the dicks. You wanna know why? Cause you're bad at math. So you can't even keep track of how many it is. You always have to go back to the beginning. Oops, gotta start again, right? And like, people, they're not gonna get hard for you, son. That's obvious, that's obvious. So. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get, let's get festive with our friends. More and more British treats. Look at this. It's a bag of Santor treats. That's fun. Ashmead, great news. Oh, bro. You know what? I'm glad that your settlement's finally coming through because I know that you have been dealing with this for like years and you just got hosed, right? You're just like, hi, um, I did what I was supposed to all along and I just got hosed. So I'm glad that that's getting straightened out for you, bro. What up, Zeta? Oh wow, it's all like it's, he's got a he's got a fart tail. Oh no, <laughs> I'm gonna eat a farty snowman. No, I am not. I have dignity, grace. I am a powerful, independent man on the internet. I'm not gonna eat no farty snowman, bro. I'ma eat this reindeer who's like dead inside. Like you can see in his eyes, he's dead inside. Let's find out what it's like, yo. Wow. Pretty underwhelming, actually. Middle of the road, whatever. Meh. Meh. Al says, it seems like you're in high spirits today. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I'm not paying for a spin. It's better to give, not receive. Ball Falcon <laughs> coming in saying, I'll pay for Al's other half to get a spin too. All right. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, hold on. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna completely circumvent what you want, Bo Falcon, and I'm gonna I'm gonna infuse the spirit of Al's Christmas joy. He specifically wanted to do that without getting a spin, and you're trying to force a spin on him. So instead, I violate. I vi oh, you know what? I'm actually gonna. No, never mind. I'm just gonna do this. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right. 
what, buddy? Guess what, man? We're putting your Christmas card in the mix, son. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We're not letting. We're not. We're, we're like. We'll let. We'll let Bo Falcon. We'll let Bo Falcon give Jess a spin because Jess wants it. But we're not gonna. We're not gonna let him try and do some kind of. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you gotta keep your eye on Bo Falcon, right? Okay, so we were supposed to do six Christmases. We've done three Christmases. Okay, so I also got these British Haribo Super Mix candies, all right? So this is another, they came in a Christmas box. So I'm going to try this weird little purple guy. He's all hard and strange and he's got like a pretty sad face. He, like, he looks like a pill that would give you depression in a video game, you know? Oh. Oh, no. Mm-mm. No. Ugh. Ugh. No. No. Mm-mm. Ugh. <clears throat> Ew. Ugh. Save me, snowy dick fingers. Get in my mouth, bro. Hmm. Hmm. High five. Hey, Mill Master, give them a membership. Oh, the air. Nice sleep dawn. Hell yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Look good. Nathan says, here, I'd like to help Bo get a spin since apparently doesn't have enough funds to get one himself anymore. Oh, Nathan, that's so nice of you. Your Christmas charity is accepted. You are allowed to compound Bo. Bo is, Bo is, is, is down on his luck, so that's nice of you to do. He's having a hard time. He's living, he's living, oh, wait, hold on. If I say anything like that, we're going to start to move into the realm of insults. Oh, no, he's living normally. <laughs> You're not tricking me. All right, hold on. Nathan, helping out the less fortunate on Christmas. Let's go. Wait, it's not Christmas, but you know, on a Christmas themed stream. Oh, 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 Paul Falcon. For the, for the first time, for the first time in life, you get to feel success because you've won an insult, right? Now, of course, like, like anytime you'll feel success, you need the help of a real man like Nathan, to get you there, right? To hold, to hold you up. You just, just like any success in your life, it's come at the price of standing on another man's shoulders, you sweet, delicious, weird little fucking twink. What you tried to do to Al, just got did to you. You tried to take Al in the fucking, into the back alley and kiss him behind the ear, but instead, now it's Nathan breathing in your ear. How does it feel? He's clipped your wings, Falcon! He's clipped your fucking wings. <laughs> what up, Pierce? How you doing? How are you doing? Did Bo and Millmaster both lose their jobs? It's hard times, Kensick. He don't rub it in. We're here to try and lift their spirits, bro. We're doing Christmas stuff where I eat mostly good and then some garbage. Speaking of which, we still got two more Christmas eyes and two magics. So let's do... Oh, and the secret. And the secret. Okay, so for magic, we got some Lost Caverns of Ixalan action. Look at that. Look at that art card action. Huh? Yeah. Got the funky planes. That's cool. What do we got? We got the Booster Fun Raptor. We got Whale of the Forgotten. We got a, oh, nice. Foil Roaming Throne. That's not too shabby. Roaming Throne's pretty solid card. Pretty solid. All right. That artwork definitely feels secret Larry. That wasn't a bad booster at all. At all. 
All right, so that leaves one magic and two Christmas. <clears throat> All right, so we got... Al, show the festive card. You mean the one right here? The one right here, buddy? Look at that, guys. Look at that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> GPS, yo. It, it, it messed up Santa. It messed him up. Uh, Jess, these are my boosters. I keep, I get to keep these. These ones don't have to go back to a store. That only happens with, like, the stuff that comes out before the set has come out, you know? So, I also have this Christmas box with a range of different ones, right? So, we got, we got a couple. We're going to try two of these, I guess, because we got two more Christmases to do. Santa's GPS turning ho, ho, ho into no, no, no. That's true. That's true. Oh, look at that. That's neat. It's like, uh... They got, like, usually when I get these boxes, the stuff's just shoved in there and loose, right? But they got a little tray. They got a little tray. All right, what are we going to try? Let's try monkey buttons. Let's try monkey buttons. Oh, they're just, are they just straight up regular chocolate discs? That's what it looks like. Yep, that's what it tastes like. Okay, that's fine. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. Oh. So what other options do we have? We got a crunchy. We got a little bar. A double decker. A fudge bar. And a wispa. Hmm. Well, I gotta say that double decker. That double decker's calling out to me. But I'm gonna let it sit for a second. And we'll do the other magic booster first. And then I'll let the taste of that previous bit of chocolate slide off my tongue. All right. What's this art card? Walk with the Ancestors. All right. So the art card is Walk with the Ancestors. We've got a foil promising vein. It's the fattest vein on my dong. And... We got Throne of the Grim Captain. Is this the one that turns into the Wither? Yeah, this is another, like, oh, check it out, they're doing Minecraft. They did a three-headed skeleton that's very reminiscent of the Wither, right? Uh, and then we got a Foil Didact Echo, which is very underwhelming, let's be real. Let's be real, but who cares, that's fine. Fisher, yeah, you're not wrong, man. Rolling, uh, the uh, throne could be pretty solid in the cube, 100%. Oh, Ashmead, nice, buddy. That's awesome. That's excellent news. All right, let's see what the double-decker bar is like. It's a fatty. It's a fat little wrinkly boy. Look at the wrinkles. Look at the wrinkles. Look at them fat wrinkles. Mm. Ooh. That's a no for me, dog. I don't like the way the things combine together in this one. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Double deck is not for me, man. Okay. Woo, caught up on all that. Caught up on all that. Oh, Al, what's this? You talking smack to Bo? You talking smack to Bo about losing his job? What are you doing, man? It was that's mean after Nathan was already after Nathan already was having a go at Bo, now you are. Bo is in a fragile state after the tongue lashing that he was provided. Nathan's saying, I feel like Bo missed all that. His silence is worrying. Most likely you're right. He probably just went off to like make a sandwich or something. <laughs> it's off in the background. He's making a sandwich and he'll come back and have no idea. Um, Ashmead. 
I mean, the whole force in it. Yeah, I would say the other. The other, it's it's probably more useful than the than the card. You know, the card is cool, but not as not as practically useful. That's what. That's that's the route I would say. Paul Falcon says, "Why I was just listening and trying to sleep. Got work early in the morning." Oh, Nathan was just worried because he he did the compound super chat and then you won an insult and then I insulted you a bunch and then you said nothing. So even though Nathan's trying to instigate, his sweet little delicate heart underneath is like, what if I, what if I hurt Bo's feelings or what if he's not here? Right? One one of those two things. Either he missed out on the fun or I might have hurt his feelings. Oh no! It's supposed to be fun. He thinks that you can't handle it. These are okay. Millmaster, what is the Christmas pickle? The card says, I hope you get lost in the Christmas spirit. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what it says inside, Al. That's true. That's true. Hmm. Yeah. These buttons are all right. I wonder if Carly will like the double decker. I'm going to put it back in the box and leave it for her. Jess, bro, look, man, just because you're fucking disabled doesn't mean that you're that you're useless. Let's be very, very clear. Like, and it's fine if you're just joking about yourself, and that's totally cool. But I also understand that the language you use when you talk about yourself is important and it's part of how you view yourself. And just because you are fucking disabled doesn't mean you're useless. That's absolutely not the case, right? Just saying. And if that's just, if you're just, I was just joking, don't even worry about it, then just ignore. Just ignore. But I have to take a moment just to say it. You feel me? You feel me? Because it's easy for people to feel fucking small and like they don't matter and shit. And they can throw out these kind of self-effacing jokes, but underneath they can feel it. So you taint, you taint useless because you're disabled, right? All right? Now, if you had gotten the spin on the wheel and it landed in the red, I will tell you why it's useless one day. Right? I'll tell you why you're useless, and it's useless by extension. Cause anyways, no, never mind. I'm giving you no freebies. You ain't getting no freebies. Jess, you're just kidding. Good. What up, Galindo? How you doing, buddy? Millmaster, it's a pickle. Someone hides Christmas Eve, and whoever finds it first gets to open a first present. Yeah, right. The first present is somebody presenting their butthole when they bend over looking for the pickle and find out the Christmas pickle is a fucking euphemism. Yo, you heard of the mistletoe? Well, you're about to get toe up by my missile. Welcome to your the Christmas pickle. I'm gonna pickle your butthole. <laughs> I ain't no Christmas chump, buddy. All right? Man, Double Decker was still better than that little purple gummy guy. Galindo doing pretty good, but about to play some Warhammer. Just so you know, when you say that, like, pretty good, but about to go to the doctor and get a shot. Pretty good, but have to go make my mortgage payment. Pretty good, but about to go play Warhammer. So, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear you have to go and play Warhammer. That's not my condolences on the unfortunate turn of events. It's it's too bad that you were doing pretty good, but now you have to go and play Warhammer. That's that's the way of things, right? How else are you supposed to keep the bills paid and educate the kids? You've got to play Warhammer. <laughs> Millmaster, there you go. Put that, put that on his shirt. I may only have one testy, but I'm nuts for Richard. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Chess cooking for a profession made you pushed you not to want to work. I think like every job everybody's had has pushed them to not want to work. I worked in call centers, bro. Nightmare centers. So I know what it's like to go to a place and be like, 
I uh, can I just be like I'm gonna live on the streets. Screw it, you know. Galindo, you're doing some tournaments and one of your ponies is pretty strong and you haven't won against them. Oh, bro, yeah. You know what I can see? Like, life was good, but now you're being forced to play in a gaming tournament. That's rough. And one of the ponies is strong. Like, strong ponies? If you get kicked in the head by a pony, like, take it from me. I got kicked in the head in the park and it wasn't even by a pony. But if you get kicked by a pony, even in, like, an unshod one, let's, let's put... Let us take the horseshoes and put those aside for the moment. If you get kicked in the head by a pony, that's it. I would say don't play Warhammer. The danger of strong ponies is not worth it. For real. See you later, Blitzwolf! They contemplated living in a tent to avoid rent. Bro, you don't want to be, like, out there. Any weirdos can just come up to your tent in the middle of the night, right? Like, for real. For real. You want to be indoors. You do not want to be on the streets, man. I was reading a, a, a fairly disheartening article that was talking about how the homeless in the part of the... In specifically where I live, have some of, like the worst life expectancy living in the city that i live and being like destitute it will shorten your life faster than almost anywhere else bro you don't want it you don't want it galindo you already got kicked in the head by horse as a kid well that explains why you don't gotta you don't want to go to the warhammer tournament bro that explains it that makes sense Ashmead, he wasn't my bro. I'll tell you that right now. That guy was not my bro. Uh-uh. Uh oh, shit. The secret. The secret. I forgot about the secret. <laughs> the secret. Arrived today. Mail doesn't normally come on Saturdays and stuff like that, right? Now, it's not Saturday, but... I wouldn't have been able to get this, is what I'm saying, if it didn't come in today. <laughs> you know, like, Saturday, Sunday, wouldn't be able to get it. But, showed up super fast. This was put in the mail yesterday. And what's in here is really cool. And we're gonna, we're gonna crack it open once I go and top up my, uh, my beverage here. Noob, getting mail is great. Agreed. I love mail. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. I like to hold packages in my hand. Hold them good. Oh, I forgot all about all this Christmas stuff. Holy shit. I, I literally forgot. The same thing what then? All right, so you guys, I'm going to give you a preview of news that's going to be covered in probably, I guess, the next news video. It's a secret. It's a secret because I don't like, I don't talk about this stuff. I don't talk about this stuff until it's like solidly done. And these guys, this was their first time dealing with sending stuff to Canada. So let's take a look at what we got, what we got here. Let's take a look at what we got here. Damn, these are pretty 
pretty good actually. Waffle, how you doing? Plaid, the body pillow. No, that's... I haven't finalized what body pillow I want. At this point, we finalized that they're, we're doing the body pillow stuff over on Hatcher. That is happening. But I told them to hang tight uh, just because I want to take the time to figure out exactly what I want for the body pillow. And I'm swamped right now. I got so much going on, right? Like... There's multiple things, multiple things in the work. This is one of them right here. I was glad that this, this came in today. Because I've wanted to see this. I've been waiting for it. Is there some kind of easy way to open these boxes that I don't know of? Like what's going on? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, the body pillow is definitely happening. Waffle, I don't have the body pillow yet. I've been approached by, I've been approached by a company that offered me a body pillow in exchange for making a video on Hatcher about body pillows. And I mean, how am I gonna? Like, there's lots of companies that will go, I'll give you a product, you you make a video, and I'm like, no, no, I know. Like maybe if you pay me, we can talk about it, but probably no. And then like. This, some companies are like, we'll give you something. And so straight up, they didn't even offer me any money. They just offered me a body pillow. And I'm just like, that's funny. That's funny. So yeah, I got to roll with that, right? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I just mean, just get it. Get a body pillow to picture your ex and I'm going to troll your wife. That is a funny idea. Okay, it gets smaller. We go smaller from here. Okay, next step. And it gets smaller from here. We keep shrinking down. There's nothing guys, it's just a box in a box. Oh, oh, really? You know now, well, hold on. Wait, I'll do this first. Oh, this is nicer than I thought it was gonna be. Cool, okay, all right. This is, what I have here is similar to something that I've gotten in the past. Not that you guys have ever seen me get it, nothing to, I've never gotten this because of YouTube before, but. Oh, there we go. Right on the, right from the get-go. Friends, what is this? What is this box? Does anybody recognize that, those symbols? What are these symbols? What's, what's this? What's this magic? What is this? What is this? It's a hinged box. Oh, oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, boy. Look at that. That looks really good. A hinged box? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what's inside. Let's open it up. Oh! <gasps> cool. Look at that, guys! Look at that! Black Lotus silver coin? There's 499 of these. Man, let's... Oh, man. Oh, it's thick. It's a thick chunk, boy. Look, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. What up, man? That's dope. That's awesome. I have, I have a uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor coin, right? That I got a number of years back. Didn't come in a box anywhere this good. And the coin is square. And I don't know, this is just, it's cool. I was expecting it to be a square with the, I wasn't expecting it to look like this. This is awesome. This is all, it's, 
It's awesome. They basically contacted me and were like, hey, we're doing a run of 500 Lotus coins. And we were wondering if we sent you one, would you like talk about it in a video? And I'm just like, I would, this is the kind of thing I literally report on, right? So it's like, so I can talk about the fact that this exists. And instead of just having images on the screen, I can literally have the real object to show off. Right? Like, how dope is that? That's straight up. Yeah. Here you go. Like, you want to, you want to coin? I'm like, I do. I want to report. I want to report on the news. And this time, have the news. Ashmead, who is selling those? I will have, when I, when I put out the video, I will have an affiliate link. If you buy the coin, there's an affiliate link where I get, I get a little taste too, which is a nice little bonus. So, like, overall... I was very happy that they contacted me. I was like, cool, yeah. This sounds like an awesome deal. And it it looks way better than I thought it would overall, bro. Like, this is awesome. This looks great. So, there was a part of me that worried, if it doesn't look good, I will still meet, I will still meet the agreement that I made. I will still talk about it. I would still show it off, but I would have a hard time being enthusiastic about it because I thought it was jank. But I love the case. I love the circular coin. It's like a 500 print run of it, right? There's only 500 of them. And I guess less technically because I have one of them myself. So I've got like... I've got the Jace the Mind Sculptor silver coin as well, right? So now I literally have a coin... I literally have a coin... Um, like collection, I guess, of magic coins. So that's cool. I guess one thing I will say is that the square modeling like this, because the coin's inside this bigger case, like you can take it out, right? But like this bigger case allows you to stand it up for display. Although you can literally, oh, you can just display it in this dope box. Never mind. This is awesome. This exceeds my expectations, genuinely. So. I'll, uh, I will get that, I'll get that affiliate link and it will be, I'll have the link for you. These go on sale on the 15th. They go on sale on the 15th, so I'll have a video out before then with a link that you can use. Bo Falcon, you want me to use it for pog action, huh bro? Time for a coin flip deck. Yeah, boy, there you go. That's a good one. DJ Long, hey, what's up? I'm going to have a couple more of these Smarties, man. Hmm. So, yeah, that's dope. That is a dope coin. Ashmead, I literally have no idea. I have no idea. Like, they basically were like, hey, can we send you out a coin and you talk about it? And I was like, yes. And then they were like, can you talk about it before it comes out if we send you specifics and all this stuff? And I said, I don't think that's a good idea. I think Magic players are pretty hype. Let's go, go, go. They want something and it's better to actually see it in the hands of the person because I'm like, I've had multiple advertising campaigns where they specifically told me I had to be holding the product. I needed to be seen with it. That was an absolute. And I said, I think you'll get better results if we wait until I have the coin, I have the link, and I put it all out in one video for everybody to see all in one go, right? But I don't know what the price tag is, but I, like, I expect it to be pretty pricey. Like the, the J Silver coin that I got, I don't remember exactly how much it cost, but I remember it wasn't cheap at the time. And whenever it comes to like silver coins, they it's like it's like the Canadian mint. They'll make like a two dollar coin, but they're then they'll just be like, it's like this special commemorative, and it's like it's priced based on being a collectible or whatever. So I don't know. I don't know. One of the one of the delights of being an internet an internet mouthpiece is straight up. I don't need to know the price because I just got one. I just get to have it just for reporting. It's literally a magic news item that I would report on in videos anyways. 
And I just, here you go, you just, here, have one. It's like, thank you. <laughs> it's awesome. This wooden case is great. This is sick, man. It's two ounces. Is that, was that other one one ounce? Is that why? That Jace coin might just be one ounce. This is, this looks bigger. Yeah, it does. It's thicker. Oh, bro. Whoa. Oh, yo, the Lotus isn't flat on it. The Lotus isn't flat on it. It's literally like it's raised up and there's five little gems for the magic. The five colors of magic and an alpha symbol and everything. Wow, bro. I'm going to I'm going to record some footage of it to put into the video when I talk about it. This thing is gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. That's so cool. DJ Long Air says, thank you, perps and community. Just hit 12, 12 subs. Hell yeah. Either that means he has 1,212 subs or he's going to a submarine place called 1212. Either way, congratulations, DJ Long Hair, on your success or your dinner. <laughs> this is awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna like pro I'm gonna keep this sealed in this for now so that I can record it in pristine quality because I'm bound to accidentally put something on top of it, scuff it. You guys have no idea. That's actually one of the biggest concerns I have is when I get sent something and I'm like gonna put it in a video and I'm worried I'm gonna damage it beforehand so it doesn't look good in the video, right? But yeah, this is awesome. This is this is genuinely sweet. I was like. I got contacted about this like, I don't know, like a month and a half ago, maybe. I'm not sure 100% when. But when I heard about it, it was like, yes, please. Yeah, no, absolutely. I absolutely like I, I love it. I love it when a company contacts me with something. It's like, yo, I, I straight up like I already have a magic silver coin. I got on my own back in the day when I was the guy who was responsible for supplying the game store with cards and making sure the cards flowed. So my lifestyle revolved around making money off of Magic the Gathering, selling cards and stuff. So I liked that there was actual legally made money that had magic on it because it tied those things together. And I liked it as a little kind of icon of my livelihood at the time, right? And, um, and then now I've got this coin, which ties into the same kind of concept, but is a different step of the journey where the previous one was tied into magic because I was like selling singles and using it to make money. And now this one is magic still helps me make money, but now it's through YouTube and I got this coin through YouTube. So it's just this fun kind of journey through coinage. Can you put an upkeep reminder on your opponent's decks? No, I don't think so. I don't think you can. Oh, Nathan says, helping DJ get a spin. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's Xmas goodness. All right, sweet. More Christmas goodness. The funny thing too is, if I'm being real, I feel like, with the nice box and the fact that this coin is bigger than the other coin, this would be probably out of my price range. I wouldn't even be able to afford it. So, <laughs> thank, thankfully, I get to be the internet guy who's like, hey, you go show it to people and tell, tell them that you like it if you like it. And it's cool. And it's like, cool. Cool. They weren't even, honestly, they weren't like, can we give you this and you have to talk it up even. They were just like, can you show it to people and tell them about it? And I'm like, y yeah. I wish everything I was talking about in the news on YouTube was just furnished to me. Here you go. It's like, thank you. Okay, let's do Whisper. Let's do the Whisper bar. Chris B, you like my wheel? Thanks, bro. Thanks, my man. Is Whisper just like an arrow bar? Hmm. It's 
just chocolate, right? Hmm, that's all right. That's okay. I feel like I might have had Whisper before. That's all right. That one's all right. Hmm. Not too shabby. So speaking of Christmas, my um, my parents are like, they're just like old and they're done doing like everything they're going to do basically. They're not going to set up a Christmas tree and do all that kind of stuff. We used to do it when I was a kid and all that, but now they're all done with that for good. So I went over there and like nostalgia dug through all the Christmas ornaments and stuff. And unfortunately, the the ornament the, the, the ornaments I was really angling for were these beautiful glass globes that had like a like a concave sort of triangular opening into them and it was silvered inside and it would reflect Christmas lights in this glorious way and I just remember them from my kid from my childhood I should say from when I was a kid and they're super special to me you know and they're broken there was like only two of them left one was completely shattered and the other one had the inside broken and I was like oh so, like, in terms of the ornaments I really had my heart set on, they weren't really available. But there were some nice ornaments in there. And there's a whole bunch of extra Christmas decorations. Like, Carly has been loving Christmas. I, You know those big, like, Rubbermaid tubs? I brought home two big Rubbermaid tubs of Christmas stuff from my parents' place. And, uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be dope going through it all. It's like, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. And Carly's hyped about it too. So that's, that's a fun little exciting thing. It sucks that they're not interested in doing Christmas anymore, but you know, whatever. That's cool. You make your own choice and uh, I'll just absorb it into mine. Oh, Jess, you're stopping your friends from losing his cards. That's nice. That's good of you, bro. Uh, no, DJ Longhair, honestly, the chocolate bar that I just bit into, the closest thing that I can compare it to is an aero bar. You know, the chocolate bar that just has air bubbles in it and nothing else. It's almost just a solid block of chocolate, except it's just filled with air bubbles. It's like that, except the air bubbles aren't as big. If there's anything else to it, then it's really subtle and I'm just not sophisticated enough to be able to tell. Kenzie, he says, give them the Lifesaver Sweets storybooks to get them in the spirit. You know what, buddy? Uh, I don't really have any plans to give it to him because I'm keeping it because I fucking love that. Like, for real. You have no idea how awesome that thing is to me. But showing it to them? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, totally. My family would probably enjoy seeing it, you know? Because they were a big part of our Christmas. 100%. Uh, waffle. Yeah, you know what? The arrow bar is like, it's a pretty plain Jane offering. So I can see why it wouldn't take off. It's, it's, uh, there's, there's no crisp. DJ Long here. There's no crisp. Picture a, just a piece of chocolate with nothing in it. I know that as an American, this is an unfathomable concept, but just imagine just chocolate, just chocolate. Like if you got one of those one pound Easter bunnies that you get on Easter, where it's just a solid lump of chocolate. Now fill it with fucking air like you would Swiss cheese. Not anything crispy, not anything crunchy, none of that. You don't get a crisp, you don't get a crunch. You're literally biting into a block of chocolate where somebody stole a bunch of the chocolate in the middle. Fisher, you did a, you hung lights on your giant heat drawn display. There's lots of ways to celebrate Christmas, buddy. Waffle, you got arrow bars from the UK import section. They're like honestly, arrow bars are nothing special. You're not missing out on anything. It's plain chocolate. That's it. It's just if you don't want to bite into like hard, thick chocolate. 
Kenneth Hollow Easter Bunny. Yeah, if but not not like not to that degree. It's not completely just gigantic a bar of air inside. It's just speckled with all these holes, right? Like. DJ Longhair, my cube isn't a draft cube, so it doesn't use, like, basic lands or anything like that, bro. There are many cards that can go in the cube, but um, the only lands that do are, like, powerful man lands and stuff. Instead of more chocolate, they give you air, seems like a scam. Honestly, like, stuff like Arrow Bar, like, for real, it, you are paying the same price as other chocolate bars and getting less. Nathan says not hollow, more like set frothy chocolate. I feel like when you say set frothy chocolate, you're going to make people think of um, truffles. For cr I can't believe I'm about to fucking do this. I can't believe I'm about to fucking Google pictures of a fucking arrow bar from the inside so that I can give like a fucking lecture on a fucking chocolate bar because I think people aren't going to fucking understand. This, okay, this is a great image of what the inside of an arrow bar looks like. What the fuck is in, what kind of file is that? What even is that? Oh, uh, whatever, I'm just gonna pray that that actually, you know what, I'm, I don't know. I don't trust that, Never mind. let's go with this one. There we go, I know what that kind of file is. And it's, it's good too. Actually, it kind of makes it look a little creepy and gross. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me grab the image. Uh, let's see here. Here it is. Okay. See? See? This is what it looks like on the inside. It's a chocolate bar where it's just a bunch of air pockets. There's nothing crunchy to it. There's nothing, there's no like trick to it or whatever. When you bite into it, it's soft. It's soft and it just, it gives in your mouth like a flaccid weenus, okay? That's what an arrow bar looks like. So yeah. It's, uh, Gianna, what's up? Yo, was it you who was asking about Pac-Man last night? Because we watched the Christmas Pac-Man special yesterday. And I gotta say, Pac-Man has the most questionable nickname. Like, what? you just go, okay, well, yeah, this was definitely made in a different time. And you would never, you would never find a character with this nickname now. It's questionable. No problem, DJ Longhair. Arrow bar is a disappointment. If it's not exactly what you're looking for, absolutely. Crunch bars have the same air pockets. Yeah, but crunch, like, um, the crunch bars have rice in those pockets. So they don't have air pockets. It just looks like an air pocket to you because you're seeing the inside of the rice crisp, right? Because rice crisps aren't solid. That's the difference. Gianni, you watch it today and notice a lot of the same stuff? The nickname is really questionable, and also, it's not a very good special. Like, the ghosts are all like, we're going to chomp you good. They just kick the crap out of you and just maybe leave you to die in the woods. And you're like, what is this? What is this? You know? Mm. Oh, yeah. What up, every day? How you doing, buddy? How's life treating you, son? Oh, yeah, bro. This coin is legit. This is dope. So, yeah, you'll see this featured in the next news video. Nathan, what's the art card for tonight? Oh, good question. Let's see. What is the art card for tonight? Oh, funky. Boom. 
I don't know because it's in, it's a Japanese artwork. But this, this is the Lord of the Board card for the evening. Bum, bum, bum. It's dope looking. What the hell card is that? Yeah, Al, change the name of Pac-Man from Puck-Man was a good choice. Oh, Ephemerate. Yeah, you know what? That makes sense. That works with the artwork. That's dope looking. It's a good looking piece of artwork, man. That's right, Pierce. Crunch bars have Rice Krispies in them. Correct. Correct the mundo. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. I woke up and my back was like feeling jorky. And then I got, there's like a neighbor in the building who's an old man. I needed help moving a chair. So I helped him with it. And I was just like, oh, it's going to be a day. It's going to be a day for the old back. That's what happens when you get old. But he's like old, old. I'm just in the middle. I'm not, I'm like, oh, I'm old, but not really. I don't have old people problems. I just get to go. I've been alive long enough that I feel old. When I think about the fact that like, there was a time in my life where you didn't go on the internet. You just didn't. N nobody did. And the phone was just stuck to the wall and you just go outside and play and stuff would show up on the TV and you were either there to see it or you weren't like, there weren't even VCRs to begin with. It was just nutty. And now, like, everything's on the internet forever. And it's a totally different world, man. Totally different world. So it just feels like that makes me feel like I've been around forever. It sounds so archaic. DJ long hair. No, you know what, buddy? I don't. I don't actually have a grill. I do not have a grill of my own. No barbecue. Once upon a time, I remember at the one building I lived at, I had my own barbecue out back. Well, I mean, my own barbecue. It was like my parents had gotten a new barbecue. And I'm like, what are you going to do with that old one? Like, We're just going to throw it away. And I'm like, I will take that then. And I shoved it behind the building that I lived in. And it was out by it was out by the trash things. It was just hidden away in the back because like um, the landlord would get pissy about that crap. But I was like, screw it. So I had that one hidden back there, <laughs> hidden back there. And uh, I would like barbecue steaks and stuff on it. Fisher, you don't miss the dial up tones. Ask me, yeah, the idea of having to be somewhere, like, yo, I want to watch the new episode of, like, uh, Buffy the Vampire's Lair. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I have to be at my house at, like, 6. It's like, okay. You know, it's not like that now. You might not want to miss a premiere or something, but you can watch anything on demand, right? Ned, you remember your VCR to the long wired remote. Yo, was it one of the ones where the, like the cord was like the curly sort of, you know? Different world, Al. Different world, buddy. <laughs> Did you look here? Bring a dragon barbecue behind your car. We'll be all good, bro. We'll be all good. Jess, bro, you know what? You're not wrong. I got to see a whole bunch of awesome movies during the eras of making good movies before it became whatever the hell we get now, where it's mostly all jank. I legit remember a time in my life where you could... Just say, you could call up your friends and be like, yo, you want to go to the movies tonight? 
And they wouldn't even have to be like, oh, we have to make sure there's something we want to see before we go. You could go and there would always be something worth seeing. And sometimes you would just watch random stuff that was out there. Like, all right, yeah, bro, you know what? Let's watch Death Becomes Her. <laughs> DJ Longer, do I have an oven? Yeah, I have an oven. Yeah, I have an oven. Yeah, Ned, see, you remember. You just go to the theater and see what's there. I miss that. I miss it. I do love the new booths they have at the theater. Like, there's the Landmark Cinemas in St. Catharines. And I love, like, I love the theater setup. It's so comfy. The booths are so nice. Uh, it's, it's an expensive experience, though. 60 70 bucks when all is said and done for your tickets your concessions everything like it turns it into a pricey night so it's like if you don't have a good movie to watch then you're not really going to feel like you're getting your money's worth right so yeah the um, the experience overall is nice, but the movies that are in the theater, not so nice. That's the kind of stuff like when you get gift certificates, when people are like, here you go, I'm going to give you gift certificates to the theater, something like that. Then you can go and enjoy it and it's just like, eh, whatever. Like if it turns out... If it turns out that the movie wasn't the greatest, well, this is an experience somebody else provided. And so it changes the nature of it. You know what I mean? Ned says, we'll give you a comfortable seat to distract from the dumpster fire on screen. Honestly, me and Carly went to see Black Adam in the theater. And Black Adam is not really a great movie worth watching. But we were very comfortable in the theater and we had fun making fun of the movie. So we had a good time. <laughs> Jess, you only go see Marvel movies in the theater? I used to, but then they started to get so bad that I said, eh, forget it. Forget it. Fish are all going to scratch some vinyl, huh, big boy? Look at you. You're fancy. You're a fancy old schooler. Yeah, Al, you know what? You're right. You're right. The movies that were considered bad back then were at least still entertaining. Uh, movies in the current era got so obsessed with other things that they forgot that the key thing is to be actually entertaining because none of it works otherwise. Pierce, sounds like you win, buddy. You ain't got to deal with it. Uh, Millmaster, I've never even heard of the movie Black Christmas, bro, let alone seen it. The Marvels was painful. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not surprised. I expected it to be just dreadful. Ned, just stopping by because work's kicking your ass right now. Well, oh, you get to settle down soon. Sweet. All right, man. Well, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Al, yeah, bro, I'm with you on that. The smoking section, non-smoke section, same thing as in the, um, like, the restaurants. You go to, like, the Ponderosa, and they've got, like, you're in the non-smoking section, and you're like, there's not even walls, man, you know? You're just not sitting directly beside somebody smoking a cigarette. It seems so wild now by today's standards. It's like, yo, I'm trying to, like, eat my dinner, and you're literally smoking a cigarette right here where I'm eating my dinner. This is messed up. I remember the way donut shops used to smell, you know? The smell of coffee and cigarettes. Somebody's coughing out there. I can hear it. I can hear it. Man, this coin is legit. I know I was putting it away so I wouldn't do any damage, but I want to take another look at it. Nice wooden box and everything, eh? Ooh, its weight is two ounces. Hmm. 
Mintage 499 worldwide. So there's less than 500. Okay. Yeah, that's cool, dude. That is very cool. DJ Longhair, you huge Star Wars fan? I saw a fun little post today that was like, it was something saying, did you know that before Mark Hamill starred in episode four of Star Wars, he had never seen a Star Wars movie? And that was like on Twitter or something like that. And it was a post saying that and it showed the response below from Mark Hamill himself going, sad but true or whatever. And I was like, that is genuinely funny. For anybody who doesn't know the order of the Star Wars movies, they'd be like, wow, he hadn't seen the first three before he was in the fourth one. And it's like the fourth one was the first one. <laughs> Pierce, yeah, bro. And what they had here with the walled off smoker stuff was in the coffee shops, they had these tiny picture, something slightly bigger than a phone booth. They had these weird little phone booth-esque areas you could go to smoke in. It was strange. Ashmead, no, because I'm not the only one who got these. So, and I got number 300 and something. Doomblade says, sorry I'm late, but spin the wheel. Don't know what to do after the stream. Doomblade, this, the fucking spins are 10. They're 10, not 9. This isn't fucking Discount Tuesday. That's hilarious, though. I love that you're like, one. Where's the? Where's my extra dollar, buddy? The full toll must be paid for the wheel to spin. <laughs> J.K. This is a cold cup with um, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper and ice cubes. Normally, I like to have Barks root beer, but can't get it right now can't get it right now so i'm taking a, a sad substitute you know where it's like yeah it's got sugar and caffeine but it's not good enough fisher wants to come in with the assist for the spin but doomblade's not having it he's paying his own dollar let's do it let's do it i love that it's like nine he's like it's nine for me i get a nine dollar spin i should have started to spin it and then stopped it abruptly and been like incomplete all right Let's make sure all the pegs are tightened before we spin it. No, it's not. I'm going to glue these on at some point because I have to keep reaffixing them. All right, let's go. Oh, it's Christmas! It's Christmas time in the city, big boy. So what do we got? What do we got left from the Christmas box? We've got a crunchy, a little bar, and a... F it's just called fudge. Uh, I'm going to try the fudge. Because I think it's the one I'm least likely to like. All right, we got a tiny... It actually kind of looks like a Twix bar, like a like a shorter Twix bar. Mm. I was expecting it to be dark brown inside because it's fudge. Yo, this doesn't even taste like fudge. This is weird. Oh, this is going to mess with Carly. It's going to be awesome. She's going to read fudge and she's going to think it's a fudge bar because she likes fudge. And she's going to be so disappointed. That's a surprise. That'll lay in wait for her. That's fun. Ew. Ew. Kensuke, I wondered the same thing. If I spun the wheel in the other direction, would it stop the pegs from getting loose? I don't know. I don't know. Carly, what about you? Just talking about how we got the... I got all this chocolate for you to try. And that you're going to like it. You have smoking in restaurants here and you can't buy a car on Sunday? What? You can't buy a car on Sunday? What? 
Right? What? <laughs> Craziness. Man, these Christmas candies overall have been mostly pretty good. Mostly pretty good. So yeah, overall, I mean, I would say these actually turned out to be pretty good. I'm happy with these. These were me. I don't really care about these. We'll see what Carly thinks of them. I've got to be careful where I leave this stuff because otherwise, because uh, otherwise, I'll just end up munching on some of it. You ever have like junk food? It's not even that good, but you just eat it because it's there, and you're not even really paying attention. You're almost on autopilot and your brain's just like, rum, rum. you're like, this isn't even good. Why am I having this? You know? I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that me and Carly are going to go through those Christmas tubs tonight. So it's about time for me to get going. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Millmaster, it looks like you're going to be lording the board. You get to be this this little angel here so you can think about that tonight when you're tucking yourself into bed <laughs> thanks for coming and hanging out guys we will get back together tomorrow and then you know in the meantime stay strong and stay 